Dr. Phil recently did that too. Dr. Phil just put a big old irreparable dent in my childhood. When he had Kermit the Frog come on his TV show and ask for relationship advice on how to get back with Miss Piggy, that just, you know, irrevocably damaged a piece of my childhood that I just used to hold near and dear. And it hurt so much that I had to go online, find it on his website, hack it and change the verbiage, and then take a screenshot of it. Basically, it's Dr. Phil talking to Kermit the Frog, and Kermit the Frog saying that, you know, the, the first pair, of, well, a couple sentences is the same, you know, Kermit the Frog saying that he just wants to talk to Dr. Phil about trying to rekindle that spark with Miss Piggy, and it just doesn't seem to be working, and, you know, he turns around and talks about how he tried to give it to her needs, but the barbecue sauce kind of became a bit of a fetish, and, you know, it got a little demented and strange when she uh, started screaming things in bed, like, jam that ham and pull that pork, bitch, and, you know, then he ends, uh, then he ends off with telling Dr. Phil that it ain't easy being clean. But, <laughs> Yeah, that was only up there for about 10 minutes before it got taken down, but I got a picture. 